Hey everyone, welcome back to Coinas. If you have rare coins you want to sell, just watch this video till the end. I'll tell you where to showcase them for free. So in this episode I'm going to show you several valuable and rare error coins sold at various auctions. Starting with this extra rare Lincoln cent. Finding this 1974S cent is as difficult as finding a needle in a haystack. I'm sure most of you know that the selling or buying aluminium cents of 1974 trial issue is illegal in the United States. You can ask how come this aluminium cent ended up selling for big money recently in auction. This is because it's a proof cent struck on a foreign aluminium coin, Nepalese 2 paisa to be correct. It is believed to be unique and is likely one of only two aluminium 1974 cents legal to own other being a uniface reversed on Philippines planchet. This numismatic pinnacle was bargained for $199,687.50 with buyer's fee on January 22, 2023 at Great Collections Auctions. This 1979 Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on clad 10 cent planchet, graded in mean state 66 by PCGS. The Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on a dime planchet is a rare error coin that was created when a dime planchet was accidentally fed into press that was intended to strike Susan B. Anthony dollars. The result is a coin that has the design of Susan B. Anthony dollar, but it is struck on a much smaller dime size planchet. Due to its rarity and unique nature, the Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on a dime planchet is highly sought after by collectors. The exact number of these coins in existence is unknown. This one ended up selling for $7,537.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1918D Buffalo Nickel struck on a cent planchet, circulated coin in AU58 condition. A dramatic wrong planchet error, the obverse design of this nickel is fairly well centered on the cent planchet while the reverse is more closely aligned with the lower border. The date is bold and nearly complete while the D-mint mark is identifiable despite being a bit soft. Deep copper rose patina overall with light cobalt blue providing further visual appeal. It was sold on March 24, 2023 for $480 at Stax Powers. Here is 1977D Washington Quarter in Mint State 61. Intriguing transitional error quarter struck on a silver clad planchet. Simply put, this is one of the most significant mint errors. Whereas the 1977D Washington Quarter is copper nickel clad issue, this piece was erroneously struck on a silver clad, aka 40% silver planchet used for the sum of the San Francisco Mint's Bicentennial issues of 1976. It was sold for $12,000 at Stax Powers. Moving on to the 1915 Lincoln Cent struck 40% of center toward northwest. Also comes with reverse lamination, graded as AU58 by NGC. Due to die misalignment, lettering in God we trust is missing. L.I. of Liberty is struck off the flan as well. It was sold for $1,620 on March 20th, 2023 at Heritage Auctions. And here is 1964 Lincoln Sand struck on a silver dime planchet, graded in mean state 65 by PCGS, well centered in strike. Virtually the entire Lincoln design is evident despite the slight size differential between the cent dies and the dime planchet. Only at the borders do we note a touch of softness, but even there, at least partial detail is evident to the design elements. Satiny and smooth with dusting of pale gold to otherwise light silver-gray surfaces. It was sold for $1920 at Heritage Auctions. Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoinas.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinas app. 